Hi, and welcome to this TVC demonstration video. This is the first of two videos that will go over the new tunnel conversions workflow that has been added to version 550. The demonstrations will cover first, creating a monitoring project through Trimble Connect. Trimble Connect is a cloud-based tool that will store the monitoring data that we are working with. This means that you'll need to be logged into your Trimble ID account. After creating a monitoring project, we can then sync epochs with conversions data using the new assign tunnel conversions points command. For this video, I'll be syncing two epochs. Finally, I'll use the new tunnel conversions report command to generate a displacement summary, which I have a snippet of here on the right. This first video will demo creating the monitoring project and syncing convergence data, while the second video will review the tunnel conversions report and show off the convergence tunnel view a bit more. One thing I want to note first is that while the convergence points get saved to the cloud, the alignment, corridor, tunnel, and shape do not. This means that you will need to import a TXL file containing these to every project you want to sync. We'll get more into that during the demonstration. Before we start the demo, you may be wondering why you should choose Trimble for your monitoring needs. Well, you can use Trimble Access for data collection and scheduling before bringing that data to be processed and reported through TBC. This means that choosing Trimble is choosing a streamlined, field-to-finish workflow with greater data interoperability. Alrighty, so here I have TBC 550 open, and I've already imported a job file here containing my convergence points, which were collected on October 12, 2020. I've also imported a TXL file, which contains my tunnel alignment, corridor, tunnel, and my tunnel shape. In order to better keep track of my dates and epochs, I've saved this project as demo 10-12-2020 to match my job file here. I will also point out that I am logged into my Trimble ID account as indicated by this icon in the top right corner. This is required in order to create and sync our monitoring project through Trimble Connect, which we will be doing now. So because I know that I need to create a monitoring project first, I can go straight to the monitoring tab here and go assign monitoring project. Or if I say forget that I have to do that first, if I go to tunnels, assign tunnel points and try to go straight to assigning convergence points. This pop-up dialog will show up telling me that I need to assign a monitoring project first and asks me if I want to open that command now. I will say yes. And we see that the command switches from assign convergence points to assign monitoring project instead. And here it's just syncing up to my TID account and grabbing my Trimble Connect projects, which I can see listed here. For the sake of this demo, I want to create a new Connect project or monitoring project, and I will call it demo-convergence and I'll hit create project. So for the monitoring epoch, I want to match it up to the date here. So I'll type in 10, 12, 2020, and I'll leave the time as is. You can also use this drop down arrow here to kind of select the date manually if you wanted to. I'll hit save and let this sync up. I'll resume once this finishes up. So now that it's finished syncing up, we notice that there's a new node here in the Project Explorer called Monitoring Project Demo-Convergence. If I try to expand this right now, it's currently empty. That's totally fine. We'll be adding convergence points next. So if I look to the right here, we see that the Assign Tunnel Convergence Points command is open. It automatically selected my tunnel, and I only have one in this project, so I'll leave it at that. Now, for the selection method, there's two different ways to assign convergence points. You can either select a specific station, which is good for manually selecting points and then assigning them to a station that you know you want to assign it to, or you can choose station interval, which will automatically assign points to stations based on proximity. I will be using station interval for now, but I'll be touching back on specific station in a bit. So I'll leave all of these as the default, but I'll go back to my project explorer here and expand the, no the points node, sorry. I will select all of my PC dash uh, number points here because I know that these are my convergence points and I will hit add. And just for the sake of showing how to delete points, I will also be adding um, these two points here, which I know are not convergence points and I will hit add as well. If I, if I expand the nodes here in the convergence points table, we can see which points are assigned to which stations. So we see that station 10 has two points, which are PC34B and PC34C. I will not make any changes right now. I will just simply hit apply. And this dialog will pop up asking me if I want to save the project to continue, and I will say yes. 
So again, it'll just bring up the synchronization process bar and I will resume once this finishes up. Alrighty, so it's finished syncing up and if I scroll down and now I try to expand this node, we see that it is populated with stations and their points now. Before moving on, I just wanted to show two more things. Let's say uh, you accidentally added a few points by accident. I did this with the two PT points here. You can simply select them in your Project Explorer or in the plan view. Right click and select delete the monitoring point from all epochs. This dialog will pop up asking you if you are sure you want to do this because this cannot be undone. I will say OK. And right after I do that, we see that station 18 where I deleted the points from as well as the project itself turns red. This just means that there's been a change in the project that has not been synced to the monitoring project on Connect yet. And you can fix this by going to monitoring here and selecting sync monitoring project. Before I say yes to this, I actually want to implement one more change, so I will say no. And let's say, for example, you want to move a point from one station to another station. Um, for example, I'll try to do this with PC34A, that's currently at station 11. Let's say I want to move it to station 10 to be with the other PC34B and PC34C points. I will simply right click PC34A and select unlink the convergence point from the station. We see that now station 11 turns red and PC34A has been moved to this new node here called monitoring points. This node makes it easier to reassign unlinked points to new stations. So. I will switch the selection method in the assign tile convergence points command back to specific station. And if I click in the selected box here and select PC34A from the Project Explorer, and I change the station to 10, I will hit add, and we see that if I expand these nodes here, station 11 now has no points, while station 10 has PC34A added to it. To save this change, I'll hit apply and then say yes to syncing my project again. So now that that's finished syncing up, we see that the red text turns back to black and stations 11 and 18 are empty. And station 10 now has PC34A assigned to it. That should conclude the workflow for Epoch 0 or our baseline epoch. We will now be moving on to the next epoch. So similar to our first epoch, which I'll be referring to as Epoch 0 or our baseline epoch, I've opened a new TBC project and imported a Java file from the next day, so October 13th, 2020. And I've again imported my TXL file containing my tunneling data, and I'm still logged into my TID account, which you can see in the top right corner. Now, since I've already created my monitoring project, I'll go straight to the monitoring tab and select Assign Monitoring Project. I'll give this a little moment to sync to my Trimble Connect projects, and then I will select my demo-convergence project that I created earlier. Now, similar to before, for the monitoring epoch, I'll change the date to 10-13-2020, leave the time as is, and hit save. And after syncing, we see the same monitoring project node appear in the Project Explorer here, and I'll go ahead and expand this node. So right off the bat, we can see that the points that we synced up before appear under their respective stations, but the only difference is that they actually have an asterisk beside them. If I open up the properties pane, we see that this is actually called a historical monitoring point instead of a regular monitoring point. This is because we have not synced our convergence points to this epoch yet, but we'll be doing that now. I'll go back to the tunneling tab here and select assign tunnel points and choose convergence. In the Assigned Tunnel Convergence Points command pane here, we actually see that the table down here is already populated with stations and points. These are the same ones that we synced in our previous epoch, and it's able to remember this because of the cloud syncing. So if I expand the node for station 10, we see that PC34A is actually still here, and if you recall, I moved it from station 11, which currently has no points, to station 10, so this means that it remembers that movement and it's synced up properly. Now because all these points are still here and I don't really want to add more right now, um, I'll simply hit apply and resume once this finishes syncing up. Alrighty, so it's finished syncing up and if I look at the Project Explorer over here, we see that all of the asterisks are now gone. 
if I select any of these points now, we see that it has been changed from historical monitoring point to now conversions points, so that's great. I also wanted to point out that if you select it either in the Project Explorer or in the Plan View, it will highlight in both. So if I select the vector in the Plan View, it'll highlight its respective object in the Project Explorer as well. Now, speaking of the new vectors in the Plan View, we notice that the displacement values in the properties here are now populated. This is because the displacements can now be calculated relative to the baseline epoch that we synced earlier. We can also play around with the warning and alarm thresholds either in the properties or in the tunnel view, which I'll show in a bit, to change the colors of the vectors. So I'll go into this more in the next video, but I will quickly show the tunnel view before I finish this off. If I scroll to the bottom of this pane here, we see that there's a new conversions tab. I can toggle between stations with the left and right keys at the top here. I will go more into this in the next video, but what I will want to do is change a few of these thresholds in order to make my vectors, um, let's say, green, yellow, red, and then I will generate a tunnel conversions report with this command up here in the tunneling tab, reports, conversions report, and tunnel conversions here. This will again be shown in the next video, so I'll see you guys there. Thank you.